So as we pray today, we are, not, we are going to pray with the mentality of victory. And also, I also want us to thank God for victory. I don't want you to be, to, be, to be discouraged by what you see around you, because in Nigeria, we have the victory. Glory be to God. So I'll be reading some scriptures for you that talks about our victory, and on the basis of that, we will praise God, and we will also pray and intercede. So I want to start reading today from the book of Romans, chapter 8, from verse 35 to 37. Romans 8, 35. It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Verse 36, as it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long, and we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Wow. It says, yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Sometimes maybe the way the, the, the Christians feel like right now in Nigeria and the, and the attacks and the rumors of war and the destabilization everywhere, you, you just feel that there's no future, but we know that in all these things, in all these things, we are more than conqueror through him that loved us, or that loves us. Glory be to God forevermore. Let's go again to the book of 1 Corinthians. Let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 57. 1 Corinthians 5, 57. Don't forget, the Bible says in all these things, in the midst of COVID, in, in all these things, terrorist attack, in all these things, kidnapping in all these things. I mean, skyrocketing prices in all these things. In the midst of inflation, in all these things. In unemployment, in all these things. We are more than conqueror through him that loved us. Glory be to God forevermore. Let that mentality be in you. We are more than conqueror. As you walk through the street, as you go wake up, as you go to your work, walk with the mentality that you are more than conqueror because Christ loves you. Glory be to God forevermore. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, it says, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. It is not man that will give you the victory. It's not your finances, it's not your connection that will give you the victory. But the Bible says, thanks be unto God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And th th there are some constant things there. You know, God is constant. Our Lord Jesus Christ is constant. And because of these constant things in our because of these constant personalities in our life, God and Christ will have the victory. You can look at the situation of Nigeria and declare, oh, we have the victims be unto God. Who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ? Before the next, uh, whatever things are going to happen next, we thank God. He has given us the victory ahead of time. And in that we rejoice. Glory be to God forevermore. Second Corinthians, our last scriptures on victory today. Second Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 12. I read from verse 12 to 14. Second Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 12 to 14. Glory be to God. It says, furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, or the gospel of Christ, a, and a door was opened to me by the Lord. The next verse. I had no rest in my spirit because I did not find Titus, my brother. But taking my leave of them, I departed from, from Macedonia. Next verse, okay? But it says, now thanks be to God, who always lead us in triumph in Christ. And through us, diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. He says, I came to preach the gospel of Christ in to us. He said, but because I didn't find certain things in place, it was a bit discouraged, but he left. But he said, but thanks be to God, who gives us the victory. Us the victory. Well, true Lord, so he says, who always leads us in triumph through our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you today. Is there something you have been looking for that you have not found? Is there some things you are trying to lay your hand upon that since they are not in place yet, don't let that discourage you. I want you to know, God always leads us in triumph try through Christ Jesus. So your, your victory is not a matter of sometimes, it's a matter of always. So let that settle in you. And on the basis of that, we're going to thank God. On the basis of, God, we are, on the basis of that, we are going to intercede. So let that mentality be in you. For the victory we have in Christ, why don't we praise God? Praying for ourselves. You're going to be praying for yourself right now. And it's a very, very short prayer. We're going to be praying for ourselves. You know, I, I, I'm reading. Please, if you have your Bible with you there, uh, please let's open the book of Genesis chapter 26 from verse 19. I'll be reading from verse 19 to 22. Genesis 26, 19 to 22, please. Okay. Uh, the Bible says, 
also Isaac's servant, dug in the valley and found a well of running water there. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that all your efforts will produce. I pray for you that everywhere you dig, water will come out of it for you. Where others are struggling and they couldn't find water, you will find water. You will find profit. You will find abundance. You will find excess in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bible says Isaac served and the dog and they found a spring well, a, a, a well uh, that, that, that springing of or springing water. Verse 20 says, and the headmen of Gera, um, we've been having headmen problem for a long time, and headmen of Gera quarreled with Isaac's headmen, saying, the water is ours. So he called the name of, of the well Essek. Because they quarreled with him. Okay, next verse. Then they dug another well. And they quarreled over that one also. So he called his name Sitna. Verse 22. And he moved from there and dug another well. And they did not quarrel over it. They didn't quarrel over that one. So he called his name Rehoboth. Because he said, it's for, for now the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. Give me that verse 22 in, uh, in the message. That verse 22, give, give to me a message. Glory be to God. And he went on from there and dug yet another well. But there was no fighting over this one. I pray for you that all that is yours, there will be no fighting over it. There will be no quarrel over it. The Lord maintains your Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. All that's within your purview, the Lord maintains, the Lord secures it in the name of Jesus Christ. There's no quarrel over your check. There's no quarrel over your payment. There's no quarrel over the execution of your project. There's no quarrel over anything. There's no quarrel in the name of Jesus. The Bible says over that one. There was no fighting over this one. Hallelujah. So he named it Rehoboth. Wide open spaces. Say, now God has given us plenty of space to spread out in the land. God has given us plenty of space to spread out in the land. Your prayer point is simple. You're going to ask God, Father, thank you for making room for me in the land. We are praying for, we are praying for Nigeria. We are praying for peace. We are praying for the spread of the gospel. We are going to pray that in this land where there is peace, in this land of Nigeria where the gospel is spreading, the Lord will make room for you. The Lord will make room for you. The Lord will make room for you. Nigeria will open up for you. The land will answer yes to you. Any city where you live, it will answer yes to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's, a lot of people are trying to make room for themselves. They try to knock this door, talk to this one, talk to that one. But he said, now the Lord has made room for us in the land. And we shall prosper. This one said we shall spread out in the land. That's our prayer. That you will spread out in the land. You will prosper in the land. Because the Lord has made room for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank my brothers and sisters today. I thank for every family watching us right now. I thank for everybody who's linked up, every young man, every, any young woman. Linked up, look, 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 watching us right now. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That this land called Nigeria or any part of the world where you're located, that that land will open up for you. That land will say yes to you. The Lord will prosper you in the land. The Lord will make room for you in the land. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Where it seems as if some people's heavens are closed. As if the earth is closed against them. For you, the land will open up for you. In the name of Jesus. The resources of the land will open up for you. The opportunities in the land will open up for you. The connections in the land will open up for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You get things done with ease. The profit of the land is opened up for you. The abundance of the land is opened up for you. The opportunities for the land, they are opened up for you. The breakthroughs in the land, they are opened up for you. And you spread out. In the name of Jesus. No longer will you complain of narrow places. No longer will your portion, your, your destiny be quarreled over. No longer will what God has given to you be disputed. That which is yours, the Lord maintains it and you spread out. In the, in the land. In the name of Jesus. Everyone contending with you, their hand will grow weaker and weaker. 
Everyone struggling with you over your destiny, over what God has brought to you. The heart will grow weaker and weaker. And like a house of David, you grow stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. In the name of Jesus Christ. The herdsman of Gera will not be able to contend with you. Every quarter of person, they move away from your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the Holy Spirit for yourself. Pray in the Holy Spirit for your family. Pray in the Holy Ghost. The Lord makes room for you in the land. The Lord makes room for you in the land. The Lord makes room for you in the land. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hearts are open to you. Hearts are open to you. Opportunities are open to you. In the name of Jesus. Bahata ka lebro roko soria, eke ke lebro roko sokaria bate, roko kosho koria ka lebro roko soria. No longer will you walk around like a blind man. No longer will you walk around like somebody like, like an orphan. The Lord makes room for you in the land. The Lord makes room for you in the land. The Lord makes room for you in the land. You spread out in the land. Your company spreads out. Your influence spreads out. In the name of Jesus, your contact spreads out. You spread out in the land. Money is coming for you from everywhere. Of every nooks and cranny of the land in the name of Jesus. Rekeke ria bakanda lembro do kostoria bakaka lebro kosokalia ba yekeke lebro do rekeke lekranata hanto hanke hekesa ba hate kerida hankeke lebro do habekelia banda lebro kostoria kaka lebro kostoria rekeke ria bakaka lea rebobo koko shoka lembro kostoria ha kreka storia no man shall quarrel with you anymore. No man shall quarrel with you over what God has given to you. Over that land, no more quarrel. Over that your inheritance, no more quarrel. Over your company, over your breakthrough, no more quarrel. You will live in peace. You will enjoy breakthrough in peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke the spirits of the Gerard's herdsmen. They go back from you. Every spirit that follows from body prosperity and cause quarrel, I rebuke that spirit. Every spirit of disharmony, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Lembrocoria, Baca, Lebroco Socoria, and the Kerebasto, Hekeke, Riabacoria, Bakekeria, Rococo Socalia, Rekeke, Lembroco Soha, Bekeke, Riba, Rontoca, Yekeria, Reba Bacale, Rococo Soca, Dembrada, Bekeke, Reda, Casque, and the Hokoska, Bahala, Hende, Hekeka, Lembrodo, Bahalekeria, Hate, Leproco Socoria, Rekeke, Ri, Bacaca, Lebroco Socoria, Rekekeria, Roko Kosoria. The Lord has said yes to you. The Lord has said yes to your prosperity. The Lord has said yes to your breakthrough. The Lord has said yes to you. No man can quarrel over it. No man can dispute it in the name of Jesus Christ. Rebaka, Lebro Kosoha, Bekekaria Baka, Lebro Kostoria, Reke Mando, Lepraka, Lebro Hakeske, Hende Kamata, Hendregas Korea, Ha Nebo Rokoriata, and the Kaska Lebo Roto. Ah, le brokosho Korea. Your prosperity is secure. Your prosperity is secure. Your prosperity is secure. Your prosperity is secure. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord maintains your Lord. 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 You spread out in the land. The Lord prospers you in the land. In the name of Jesus Christ, Nigeria is hellbot for you. Anywhere you are, is hellbot for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will. Name your life Rehoboth. You will no, no, name your business Rehoboth. You will name your ministry Rehoboth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because for now, the Lord has made room for you in the land. In the name of Jesus. Reke keria bakoria bahanda. Reke keria bakostoria. Handa. Hakere bahostoria bahande. Ha. Makela brada ka yakanda ba lebrodo. Reke ka lebroda ba yakanda le mahote. Hande reke ya. Rema kata ba aristu. Beke keria ba koshtoria. Where others find no water, you will find water. 
where others are digging and they couldn't find anything, you will find water in the name of Jesus. Where others express closed doors, you will express open doors in the name of Jesus. Where others are having breakdowns, you have breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you will deal from now, you see water, springing water. You find springing water in every one of them. Every venture, there is profit. Every effort, there is progress in the name of Jesus. The days of digging and not finding waters are over forever. The days of laboring and seeing nothing, they are over forever in the name of Jesus. Even for those days you have dug and you saw nothing. Right now, I demand a divine compensation. I demand a divine compensation. I demand a divine compensation. In the name of Jesus. The hand of the enemy is weakened. The hand of Gerard his men, they are weakened. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will surprise you. The Lord will do something for you that no man can contend with. Because everybody will know, this is the hand of the Lord. I've worked for you. I've worked for you. I've worked in your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Next season of your life is called Rehoboth. The next season of your life, the next half of this year, from this July, this next half of this year, is called Rehoboth for you. It's our year of his, his increase. Therefore, the Lord himself has made room for you. Because it must be his increase in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord makes room for you in the land. The Lord makes room for you in the land. The Lord makes room for you in the land. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. And we honor your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. 